Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we're diving into an integral component of the air conditioning system, the PACS. The air conditioning pneumatic air cycle kits, known as PACS, regulate the temperature and pressurization of the cabin by cooling and conditioning the air drawn from the engine bleed air system before distributing it throughout the aircraft cabin and cockpit. The A320 has two PACS and they operate automatically and independently of each other. A single engine bleed air source can typically power both PACS. However, if the wing anti-ice system is active, it can only supply air to one pack. It is not permissible to use the packs and the LP ground unit simultaneously on the ground. Initially, warm bleed air flows through the pack control valve into the primary heat exchanger, where it undergoes cooling. Subsequently, the air enters the compression section of the air cycle machine, where it is compressed to higher pressure and temperature. It then passes through the main heat exchanger for further cooling, while a water separator removes moisture. Entering the turbine section, the air undergoes additional cooling and expansion, which generates power to drive the compressor and cooling air fan. The pack flow control valve, PFCV, regulates airflow in the air conditioning system. It is controlled by the Air Conditioning System Controllers, ACSCs. It is pneumatically operated and electrically controlled. If there is insufficient air pressure, a spring keeps the valve shut. The PFCV closes automatically when, one, there is low pneumatic pressure. Two, a pack overheat occurs, compressor outlet temperature greater than 260 degrees Celsius. Three, an engine fire push button is pressed. Four, an engine is started. 5. The ditching push button is pressed. The PFCV will reopen 30 seconds after the first engine is started. The following are the pack flow settings. Low equals 80%, normal equals 100% except for 85% on the ground. High equals 120%. Pack flow low is used when minimal passengers are on board, resulting in less bleed air demand and therefore better fuel efficiency. Pack flow high is used for smoke removal and in hot, humid conditions. If the APU is supplying bleed air or the aircraft is on a single pack, the pack flow automatically reverts to high. If the pack flow selector is set to normal, the actual flow will be either normal or high flow depending on the bleed air demand. If the pack flow selector is set to low, the actual flow will be either normal or low flow depending on whether the temperature demand can be satisfied. A single pack fault is triggered when the position of the PFCV disagrees with the commanded position or the valve is closed. A dual pack fault is triggered when both air conditioning system computers, ACSCs, have failed. This will depressurize the aircraft and will require a descent to flight level 100 or the MORA and opening the ram air inlet. A pack regulator fault is triggered when an inconsistency is detected between the airflow taken on the engine, as computed by the EIU, and the pack flow, as computed by the ACSC. Thanks for tuning in to this bite-sized tutorial on the PACs.